my name is Joy. I had a congenital cataracts from birth. Apparently I had about 10 operations because obviously you're talking nearly 60, 60 years ago. They left me with nystagmus. When I was 31, I was diagnosed with glaucoma and at about the age of 45, I've had two corneographs done since then. Now I have about 3% vision. I was born in 1978 and um, shortly afterwards I was diagnosed with congenital cataracts. They were removed when I was between seven and nine months old. I now have about 10% vision. I also have a slight nystagmus. Um, I had noticed with Andrew that um, when he was sort of about six weeks old, you know, my mum just knows it just, it's, there was just something that wasn't quite right. But then as part of his routine screening at um, eight weeks old with our GP, she confirmed that there was, the cataracts were there. When you're going through the, the operations with your children, um, you know, no one likes to see their children in pain. You now when you, as, as well, taking your baby into the hospital and, and ha sitting there with the, the anifitus putting them to sleep is heartbreaking. But um, I'm just so pleased that um, Andrew's outcome has been so much better than mine um, with his vision. Actually, you know, it makes you feel a lot better. I have a lot of things in my mind for when I grow up. It's just there's too many and I can't really decide what to do. Eye research is really important to me. So I support Fight for Sight because it's enabling more medical research to take place. My hope is that medical research will continue to improve from generation to generation. I mean, I don't let my um, vision impairment stop me doing anything, to be honest. You can sit at home and you can, you know, feel sorry for yourself, or you can get out there and live your life.